The necessary safety equipment for this lab are goggles, gloves, and an apron. Here are the MSDS sheets for nickel chloride. Nickel chloride can cause irritation to the skin and is toxic upon ingestion, so naturally you will find the toxic and irritant safety symbols when using this substance. The apron, goggles, and gloves protect your eyes and skin from harmful substances. Turn on electric balance and place weigh boat onto scale. Zero it and wait a few moments for the scale to adjust. Then measure out 5 grams of NiCl2 using a scupula. Measure out 30 milliliters of water using the graduated cylinder. Pour nickel chloride and water into a beaker, then mix it with a stirring rod. For filtration, you will need a filter paper. To prepare the paper, fold it in half twice, then tear out a corner and pull out a side so that it forms a cone. For the ring stand, make sure that the end of the funnel is close enough to the Erlenmeyer flask that the solution will go in, but far enough that it is not inside the flask. Wet the filter paper, then place the stirring rod on top of the beaker so that it serves as a guide for the solution as you pour it into the funnel. Once all of the solution has been poured through the funnel, remove the filter paper and allow it to dry. For evaporation, you will need to put 5 ml of the mixed solution of NiCl and water into the evaporation disc. Place the evaporation disc with 5 ml of your solution onto the ring stand. This is your Bunsen burner and your gas switch. Make sure that when you're not using the Bunsen burner that the switch is off. When you're ready to light the Bunsen burner, switch it on. This is your striker. The striker is used to light the Bunsen burner. While a solution is being evaporated, gradually add more solution using a pipette. When you're not using the Bunsen burner, turn off the gas. Carefully pick up the evaporation disc using metal tongs and place it on the wire gauze. A wire gauze is used to distribute the heat evenly across the evaporation disc.